Tonight, uh, the purple power is really where it was upwards of about a week ago. And where we were upwards of about two weeks ago. The importance of the Purple Power is that we're informed, educated, inspired, and motivated, and we're never led astray by false hopes or false promises. And that's what happened over the last three days with Wall Street and Nancy Pelosi. As Nancy Pelosi told airlines a week ago today that a deal was imminent, she told Wall Street three days ago that she was thought the deal negotiations were promising. Donald Trump was guilty of much the same thing, saying the deal talks are now going really well. They weren't before. The truth of the matter is they weren't going anywhere. Both parties were still at the same numbers. So tonight, as we focus and refocus on Purple Power, the focus remains much as it was a week ago and two weeks ago on the president, not on the Temple of Doom. We're keeping our heads up. We're focused. We're dedicated. And we're going to get through this together. And this is Purple Power. Hey, good evening, everybody. This is a special edition of Purple Power on a Saturday night. I really appreciate you for tuning in for last night's unusual version in which I brought back an old recording. And while I was going to do that again tonight, because I certainly saw you enjoyed it a lot, I wanted to really refocus you on what's going on tonight, because I know it's very strange and weird, and there's a lot of twists and turns. So I want to guide you and inform you, because ultimately, knowledge is power, and this is Purple Power. Go to the front channel, subscribe. Subscribe. subscribe because we're trying to reach 290,000 subscribers and we're almost there. Let's do it. We're about 2,000 away. Let's get it tonight if we can or tomorrow. Also, like this video. In this video, I'll be going over with you how you need to be informed about the next three steps that are really coming around the corner. And additionally, I want you to be informed about how events can twist and turn and change very quickly in the month of October, November, and December. All right, let's get to the breaking news. The breaking news is it's all executive orders at this point. It has been executive orders on the focus of the Purple Power for some time. And the Purple Power has been very well informed. If you're new to this channel, you're just tuning in for the first time, and you're not sure what I'm referring to when I'm saying Purple Power, let me explain. When this channel first launched on April 25th, and I was recording before an abandoned beach because there was a lockdown, people and businesses were closed, no one was able to really walk much of anywhere, and there was a perfect excuse to get a great shot on an empty beach, I started recording videos to inspire people, to inform people, and keep them motivated during the start of a lockdown, and inform them about money they would be getting but had not gotten, and to not lose hope. Ultimately, it was a mixture of information and motivation. These were people who were entitled to money, but had not received it and didn't know why they hadn't received it until I explained it to them. And ultimately, I guided them through the path and got them the money. And I got a lot of money for them, anywhere from 5 to $25 million. At that time, I was a kid that was, you know, at that kid, uh, it was only five months ago. <laughs> at that time, I was a character that was wearing t-shirts. Shortly when I came onto this set, I started to wear short sleeve shirts, which seemed to sort of change the dynamic of the, sh of the channel uh, as people started to think it was a little bit more sophisticated. Uh, and during the warm summer months, that's what I wore for a while. But as the channel progressed and the, the heat and the bugs started to erupt, I had to go to long sleeve shirts, literally. And on one particular day, I wore a purple shirt that apparently was a very big success. And people kept on calling me that purple person, that purple person, and purple and purple. Another day, I wore a brown shirt, and people said that looked purple, even though it was brown. Ultimately, the more purple I could find in the closet, the more I would wear. Because the more people looked at me, they referred to me that purple person. Ultimately, 
on one particular time, I referred to myself and this channel as Purple Power. And suddenly, the hashtags and the emojis started with a purple emoji here and another purple emoji there and me responding back with a purple emoji it just sort of started and at that time there was no one telling people to use their voice and to express their voice to the president online to express their voice to senators and republicans and democrats in the house online in a manner that's different from this channel and I said, go online and start telling them your opinion, Purple Power. Well, ironically, in a day in which I record four times a day, I didn't know the power of that message. Until one evening, I signed in and I saw what had happened in the 24-hour period. An enormous number of tweets. Thousands of tweets. And it grew, and it grew, and it grew. And eventually, in the evening time block, after, which is now this one, which was originally EIDL and EIDL alone, I replaced with Purple Power versus Pelosi, and it only got bigger. And so people ask me, what is Purple Power, and why is it so important for us? Ultimately, Purple Power is a mixture of a few things, but it's generally one, getting you financial stability, stimulus relief, getting you the money you're entitled to so that you can get back on your, on your feet and get for, through this pandemic and get out on top at the end, and two, knowledge, and three, motivation. I had learned early in this channel that knowledge and motivation were two, pair and pair. During the first or second week of this, no, I think it was the first week of recording this channel, I saw the viewership drop from 200 to 160. <laughs> like, literally 200 people, not 200,000, 200. And I was like, ah, oh, this is not good. Why did, where did the 40 people go? So I literally recorded, um, you know what? Um, if you're not going to show up, I'm not going to record anymore. <laughs> I literally said that. Uh, and the next day it got worse. And I said, okay, well, I guess I'm going to stop this thing because this thing is not working. <laughs> so by the morning, I said, I'm not going to record anymore. No one was motivating me. And I thought, you know, I'm done. But out of Trump's strange desire, I said, let me go back and look at last night's traffic. And it had gone through the roof. And so ultimately, I sat down and recorded that day. And I said, thank you. I was going to stop. No one was motivating me. And that was that. Over the next couple of weeks, I cried on camera. I shaked on camera. There was a riot, kidding while I was on camera. There was attacks and burglaries happening close by while I was on camera. Everything was happening. I even recorded during a fire on the Rodeo Drive. But the important thing to understand as we get through the stimulus package relief is that there's motivation and inspiration for all of us. What's important for Purple Power to understand tonight is that executive order really is the focus. Executive order, to focus on the president, to do it professionally, respectfully, and don't tweet too often because Twitter has restrictions on how often you tweet. So, for example, if you tweet five times in you know, about a minute, your account is going to go on lockdown. Don't do that. Um, but... Uh, tweet professionally and get the message very clear. Executive orders. Now, the people you should focus on are Mark Meadows, Steve Mnuchin, Larry Kudlow, Pete Navarro. But ultimately, what, if you don't know who to tweet, all you have to do is search in Twitter for Purple Power. Hashtag Purple Power, all one word. And you'll see what other people are tweeting. And if you don't even want to tweet something, you can just retweet what they're tweeting. It's as simple as that. Or you can find me and retweet what I'm tweeting. The message is very clear to the president. Executive orders. Now, if he doesn't understand what he needs to do, we can't do much more with him. The situation is very glim for him. He's down 14 percentage points across most major polls. He's, down, he's losing in all but two states that are swing states. He needs to win a majority. He's only carrying perhaps two of the swing states. There's no road to 270 currently for the Electoral College. His week-to-week -week poll numbers are getting worse. The third Democrat, the third debate is canceled. So there's really no major event, and a Supreme Court nominee is not seen as a major event. There's no major event to really push him over the edge, except 
executive order for stimulus. That's the one that would make the difference. And if he does understand that, and if he's listening only to Larry Kudlow, is only looking at Wall Street stocks, then ultimately we can only do so much. We can't make ourselves frustrated and we can't make ourselves uh, upset. But we can certainly try our best and we can continue to try to get him to wake up to do executive orders. He can do executive orders. He has the money. He has the legislative authority. Excuse me. He has the constitutional authority and he's done it before and he can do it again. Now, seats for stimulus still remains a focus of the purple power. Those are the senators and the, and the, Demo and the uh, House members who did not give you stimulus. They don't belong back in Congress. So you need to make meshes very clear to you and your friends and your family and everyone around you and anyone on social media you interact with. All incumbents should be voted out. These people don't deserve to get a check for salary. For, for, for salary. They haven't done anything. They haven't given you stimulus. Let's make very clear, because I'm not going to lose it in a daily discussion of four hours of programming, that when this lockdown hit in March, you were entitled to a stimulus check for every day of the lock, for every month of lockdown. Well, you didn't get it, because Nancy Pelosi and other people took it out. They said, we'll get to it later. They didn't get to it later. So you didn't get a stimulus check for, for April or May or June, and in some cases didn't get it for July. Then you're supposed to get a stimulus check from the, when the economy started need to, needed to get rebounded. And that was in September. It was also in August. It was also in July. You didn't get a check for any of those months. And now we're going into the winter months and there's fear that there's going to be lockdowns. I detailed earlier today that 30-something states are showing highest number of daily COVID-19 cases ever. You think they're not going to go on lockdown? Of course they're going to go on lockdown eventually later this year. And where's that stimulus check going to come from? Every step of the road, no senator, Republican or Democrat, or House member, senator or Republican or Democrat, have wanted to give you multiple stimulus checks, with the exception of two groups. Problem solvers were going to give you two stimulus checks, but it's now and May, March of next year, which is sort of ridiculous. I'm like, we need multiple stimulus checks this year, not next year. And then the exception, the gold standard, Sanders and Harris. $2,000 check every month for six months until the pandemic improves or until unemployment goes down. It's so obvious. And yet, it's not done. And yet, it doesn't cost a lot of money. And I always forget to mention that. It doesn't cost a lot of money to do this. So why? Why not? As we go into November, I want you to understand this message, because we're only in October. You're going to look back on the last 30 days and potentially the last 60 days and you're going to say, hey, LLA said to me that this economy can afford a lot of stimulus. This national debt can afford a lot more stimulus than we're spending or have spent. And that ultimately, some Republicans who thought, I'm going to protect the national debt and protect the national debt and ensure that no stimulus goes out of very, very, very little stimulus – did something that didn't help the economy, didn't help their own jobs, and certainly didn't help you. It's important to feel and understand as we go forward is that this economy will rebound faster with more stimulus right now than drops of stimulus. And those people who only wanted to give you drops of stimulus, well, maybe they will only have drops to find their way to the door if they're not reelected. Go to front of this channel, subscribe. Subscribe because I'm trying to make things very simple to you, guide you through this, and get you to the finish line. And also like this video. Coming up tomorrow morning at Mornings LLA at 8.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time are more developments which are expected to come <laughs> overnight. As always, stay informed, stay smiling, and stay in LA for more.